Dynamix is a fast two-channel low-pass gate dynamics manager and mixer, the core of which is derived from the Zero Coast synthesizer. This first video will focus on some of what makes the Dynamix unique, namely the use of the dynamic input for dynamics management. We'll go over low-pass gate, VCA, and mixing use in the following video. The dynamic input is made for converting audio signals into control signals to be applied to the level parameter. Audio signals patched to the dynamic input are averaged to the point of creating a smooth positive control voltage. The associated dynamic attenuverter allows for adding or subtracting these positive control signals. For example, here we have a series of percussive sounds coming from the morphogene to channel 1 of the Dynamix, while a droning VCO is in channel 2. We can hear both because we are monitoring the sum output. I'll patch the channel 1 output to the dynamic input of channel 2, thus controlling the dynamics of this channel with the output of the other. If we turn the attenuverter to the left, we hear the volume of the drone going down as the hits come in. If we turn it to the right, we hear the volume going up as the hits come in. I have recorded a more complex drone into the other channel of the morphogene. Let's try the same patch using that. Note we can hear only the affected channel by taking the channel output instead of the sum. The dynamic input is also normal to the signal input, which means it can be used as a simple compressor or expander. For example, here's that sound from the morphogene and nothing patched to the dynamic input. Turning the dynamic attenuverter to the left causes compression. And to the right, expansion. Play with the level, dynamic, and signal input controls to hear the variety of dynamic responses possible from a single signal. We'll go over low-pass gate, VCA, and mixing use in the following video.